Here's something about pizza I bet you didn't know. It's really good. Can't wait to dig my mouth into that one. That's right. Pizza on an energetic level represents gluttony and laziness, but it also can make you think of having a good time. So today we are at the ocean, sitting here in the snow with a nice collaborator and colleague and friend of mine, Damien. And we're going to be partaking in the ritualistic American pastime of eating pizza. Now, what good times do we have when we eat pizza? Birthday parties, Super Bowl. Super Bowl. That was a good Super Bowl. That was amazing. Amazing Super Bowl. A little shout out to UConn women's and men's basketball team. Both ranked number one. Holla. Last time I had pizza. Great time. The point is, when you have pizza, you have a great time. So, let's... uh. Let's dig in. This is us before pizza. We're also going to give you an after effect of pizza. I also want to mention one more thing I bet you didn't know about pizza, which is the cheese. Cheese contains something called casomorphins, a morphine-like property that can make us euphoric, slightly tired. It's one of the reasons why people have so much trouble getting off cheese. It's because there's an addictive property called casomorphins that are inside of it. We are about to eat some. <laughs> it's also one of the reasons why we brought a bottle of wine with us. Hey. Just to get us a little wakey wakey. Because uh, um, there's a secret ingredient in this wine. It's called resveratrol. And although it's great to lower your heart conditions or cholesterol levels, resveratrol will have a quite a. It'll trip you out. Let's just try that out a little bit. But I just wanted to show you that. Back to the pizza. 